Hey everybody, this is Ben Fetters from Sovereign SP, and in today's video we're going to be talking about galleries. And instead of explaining what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you. So let's go into our play mode. I'm going to hit View Projects. It's just going to navigate me to the next screen. And here I got my customers, I got my projects. And let's say right now I'm looking at all the projects, and I want to just look at all Steve's projects. So I click on that. Customer is Steve. Now maybe I want to look at James as well. So I got Steve's and James's projects. Now I want to look at all of them or all of them. So in today's video, obviously I'm going to show you how you can get around that default selected item with your galleries. Um, you can also select, filter another gallery based on multiple selections. And that's about it. Should be a pretty quick video. So let me get out of play mode and I'll kind of do a little rundown of how I do this. So first off with this button, I'm going to navigate to the other screen at the end. But at the beginning, all I'm doing is I'm first off, click this function. Just, first off, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my customers. I have two SharePoint lists. I have a customers list and I have a projects list. So with this customer list, um, I'm going to do a for all function. And then I'm just getting the title. I'm having the title be set to title. So what that does is just gets rid of all the other fields in my uh, list that I'm getting from. And it just, all I'm getting, all Power Apps is getting is just the title field. And then what I do is I go ahead and add columns. I can make a column called selected and set its value to false. And then wrapped around all of that, I just create a customer's uh, collection. And if you look at it, over to collections, uh, as you can see, all I got was that title column and the selected value is false on every single one of those. So let's just three of them there. And then I just navigate to the next screen. Then over my project screen, um, I have this clear collect button, which does the same thing. And I just did that when I was making the app. Um, but it's kind of nice because that normally when you have this scenario, you want to view your projects. Uh, normally it's kind of hard to have you know the default selected value be nothing. But here we can kind of achieve that because we make our own selected value and we can set them all defaults if we want. So that makes that kind of nice if I want to just see all of them at the very beginning and then, oh, maybe I want to add a filter and then I can start adding my filters. So <clears throat> that's the first function that you have to uh, understand. Then the second one is so my on select property in this gallery <clears throat> is going to be. Uh, just a patch function. All we're going to do is patch that same uh, customer's collection that we made. Then we're going to patch the item you selected and we're going to change the selected value to its selected value is going to be either true or false. So that exclamation point is just going to change whatever it was to the opposite of that. So if it was false, it's going to be true. If it's true, it's going to be false. So that's what that exclamation point this item dot selected is going to do so ooh, I'm going to sneeze <laughs> um, the next function that you have to understand is in this this is how we're going to filter this projects gallery and first off I'm going to do it if then I'm going to count if function and the count function is just going to count how many items are in a gallery or in a a table or a collection and or how many rows and the count if function is going to say how many items are in this gallery or this collection that meet this criteria so my criteria for this one is the selected value and normally that uh, you'd have you know equals something but since the selected value is true or false it's going to get all the customers in that collection that are true and if they're all false then it's going to get zero and if so that if none of them are selected it's going to be zero 
and if none of them are selected then all I'm gonna have is just my projects so the items in my gallery are just gonna be projects Then the else value is if there's more than one customer that value is that selected value is true then I'm gonna filter it based on those selected values um, or those selected items or customers so I'm gonna filter my projects list and my filter logical test is I'm gonna look up to my collections uh, my customers collection and the title or in other words the name Steve James is going to equal the customer in my projects list so I put that little thing right there customer Steve and then I'm going to do dot selected so I'm going to look up all those items where the title equals the customer and the, dot, the select value is true so it's pretty simple a uh, little formula there um, it's going to give me that delegation warning because I'm getting it from a SharePoint list so it's going to do that but if you don't have too many filters then I think you're good um, so one more time let's go back a few projects I select a few of these just two and I click back when I click this button again it's going to clear collect set all those values in the collection of faults and none of them are selected again so there's that. Uh, it was a pretty quick video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or if you want to find out anything else. So thanks for watching guys.